Yo, yo, give us the tea, man. What's going on with the Migos beef, bro? <laughs> like, what's, what's going on? I'm gonna be honest. I, I hit Offset. Offset said, "Bro, shit, shit ain't real." I'm gonna judge off your facial expressions. So watch it. Watch I don't it. Know. I don't know nothing. They're just promoting the song. That's what I think. The Migos can never break up. I'm gonna be honest with you. The Migos are so fucking iconic. And while we're here, since since you know, like I, I won't, we're not gonna call it Dick Ryan. That sounds very lewd. Right. We're just gonna call it giving people their flowers. We should give the Migos their flowers because honestly, like when they first they said they, they were they the get, best group they, ever, they, they get their flowers. Get that. People no, no, no. People I'm talking about all time now. You remember when they first said like they were the best group ever? Like there's a couple the, of no, not like, you know, ever. Bones. Like like over like. Coldplay and the Beatles and like you saying like ever like over Pink Floyd. Nigga, we not oh, okay, okay. <sighs> rap group, a oh, rap group, best rap group, best trio. Cause oh, I, what the fuck else is there? Beastie Boys. What the fuck no, else? What other trios are there? The Beastie Boys. Nigga, I had to get them in a spot yeah, but because if I said Groove, then I, I thought about Outkast and, and, and like, Wu Tang Clan and all. You yeah, know what that's too many niggas. Yeah, but it, it's literally just them and Beastie Boys. What other trio? Oh no, it's not. It's the, the little midget guy that. W- w- <laughs> I don't know, bro. That should get old. <laughs> Migos is definitely the best rap group of modern rap. All right, not the prehistoric. If Offset drops out of Migos, would you take their place? Absolutely not. <laughs> Fuck no. <laughs> nah, I'm good. Nah, I'm yo, good. yo, yo. When you see, well, I I know like you're probably like you know you've been working on the album, you've been doing your own thing, and like you, I, I feel like you've been really in your own world recently. But like, when do you see shit like that though? Do you fucking in my label or just out in the world? Well, I mean, whether it's well, it, it's a little bit closer to home, yeah. right? But when you see shit like that, like, what do you do? You even react to it? Well, it's always late, so it's late to the public. Then, so it's real. It's not real, nigga. No, I'm not talking about that situation. Oh, I'm okay, just talking okay. about in general. Like usually, when shit hits the fan, it's usually late. Okay. So okay. like, it's like usually like any kind of speculation or anything going on. It's usually some shit that's probably been going on. You know, and, I, and usually in rap or in music, if something happened, it's usually speculating. Like you usually hear something about it and then before it come out. Um. So I don't really think nothing much of anything when it hit the the, the blogs, but uh, I don't know. Yeah, I heard some wild rumors, but I again I trust what I've said, and it's yo know, it's the one thing that you know I definitely believe is like you're not gonna even like you and and you don't have to sit here and admit anything, but I'm pretty sure you've had disagreements or slight issues. During your time, just being someone who's like on a label, like you know, what I mean, now it probably was resolved. Nobody heard about it. I think these days it's just all about when we get it. Like when the audience gets it, we hype it up. Oh shit, he just dropped a song without him. Oh shit, he don't follow them, and it's like a huge thing. But like in life, we have disagreements. Like disagreements and some sort of friction at times is part of life. Like nothing is ever just the happy Perfect. shit ever. Yeah, of course. Right. What you mean at? So is it true? I don't know. Um, Have you seen the three of them together at the QC studios? I haven't seen the three of them separately. Damn. I, I ain't seen the niggas in a long time. When is QC going on tour? That's what we got to figure out. Like, I got to go on tour. Like, I feel like everybody's career, like, like are you tapped Are you tapped in? Uh, we the- almost did a tour once. I don't want to go on tour with the niggas. Oh, too much family drama. No. It's just like I'm so like like I'm not going in front of little baby, bro. If folks gonna look at me crazy, <laughs> what the fuck, nigga? Get off the stage! Like I'm not going in front of that nigga at all. I don't want to go in front of him. Ever. I don't even want to be on the same lineup as him ever, ever. You just got too many hits, no? Not even by hits. I just we are in such different lanes. If someone's coming to see him, they are not. They are not trying to hear me. Like we on two different ends uh, of the spectrum. I don't want to. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't want to tour the city girl. Have you ever gone out on like a tour where like, or like did a show where you're like, yo, yo, I think this crowd is just here to see that shit. Like nah, I was well, shocked when Drake well, got booed at um, the, uh, um I, was, I was there. It blew my mind. I was there. I saw it in real time. Were you at least cheering a little bit louder, but they like to offset the shit. I was like, I was like, confused, in shock. <laughs> it was like I didn't even know yo, that I, would be honest, I was watching shit live, and I was like, I think they're like. Pumping the sounds, no way they're this. It was, it, I was like, 
Cause it, 